from the JES First Warning Weather Center. Here's meteorologist Christy Stewart. Well, today before the storms, we had a warmer day out there. High temperatures in the mid to the upper 80s. If this wasn't your cup of tea, then you're going to be liking the weather that this cold front is going to be ushering in for us as we head throughout the rest of this work week. So we've got some showers that are still continuing as we are heading into the night tonight. We are going to be drying out by the time that you have to wake up and go to work for tomorrow morning, though. We are going to be seeing lots of sunshine as we head throughout the day on Monday, waking up to temperatures in the mid 60s, warm up into the lower 80s. We will be a little bit breezy out there for the day on Monday as well. Now after that we are going to be a little bit drier for a good chunk of the week still staying on that cooling trend and then we're going to have to look out for impacts from Tropical Storm Ian. So it's going to be working its way through the western tip of Cuba and then it's going to be headed up towards Florida. Eventually those remnants are going to be likely headed in our direction. So we are expecting to see some rain showers from Ian as we get into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. We're going to be seeing before that temperatures on that gradual cooling trend mostly dry the first half of the week. Look at that Thursday, not even touching 70 degrees for a high, but then we do warm back up into those mid to upper 70s as we do start to see some of those remnants from Ian.